Hello, my name is Alex McDonald. I'm here to share with you a couple of thoughts on something that I saw in the news. So Bernie Sanders goes after Elon Musk and he's very unhappy with Elon Musk's dream and vision and plan to colonize Mars by 2050. Let me share my screen with you real quick and show you this picture of Bernie Sanders just because it's funny. <laughs> he's very upset. This lady back here is recording Bernie Sanders talking like, what's this old guy going to say? I know a lot of people love Bernie Sanders, whether you agree with him or not. I think we all love him. We, we had a lot of fun with all those memes. And we just we just love that he's so passionate. But what I don't agree with is this idea that we should take care of everyone and that the wealthiest people in our world, as well as anybody making any money, should be heavily taxed because that would be very dangerous. And article's pretty interesting. You can find it on Microsoft News. But then Elon Musk goes on the, the defense and he tweets back to Bernie Sanders saying, what I'm doing is for the good of the world. It's not, it's not greed. So Bernie Sanders tweets, we are in a moment in American history where two guys, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, own more wealth than the bottom 40% in this country. That level of greed and inequality is not only immoral, it is unsustainable. So I wanna hear what your thoughts are. To, to put this into perspective, Elon Musk is now worth $165 billion and the CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, is at the top of that list of the richest people in the world and he's worth $182 billion. Now, Bernie Sanders is keen to despoil wealthy Americans of their money and use it for purposes he favors, such as the Green New Deal, Medicare for All, free college for everyone, and there's there's some parts that I agree with, some parts that I disagree with, but I definitely want to hear your thoughts. What I disagree with is if you're hungry and you serve others, you should not be taxed on that. You should be rewarded on that. And so once you start putting taxes on people, you're taking away their their desire to perform and desire to succeed because then it's like, if everyone's going to have the same thing, why should I want that? Why should I want to even try for that? And so democratic socialism, socialism, communism, those things are very bad, whereas a free market society is very good. And you may be looking at 2020, where all these small businesses were shut down and it was very unfair, and they deserve some of that money that these two guys got. Well, First off, I don't agree that those businesses should have been shut down or affected. I don't believe there should be any regulation from the government whatsoever. And they should be free to do business as they wish. So Amazon had kind of an unfair advantage. Everything was closed and people were ordering deliveries and they were able to profit even more. We saw Walmart profiting even more. We saw these, these huge organizations profiting even more. And it's kind of a monopoly created by regulation from the government. So we need deregulation and that'll definitely help everyone. Let me go back to this article real quick and share with you Elon Musk's response. He was not silent. He said, I'm accumulating resources to help make life multi-planetary and extend the light of consciousness to the stars. And Bernie Sanders replies on Twitter, like it's exciting the world we live in where people on these levels can converse back and forth and we can talk about it. He said, space travel is an exciting idea, but right now we need to focus on earth and create a progressive tax system so that children don't go hungry. People are not homeless and all Americans have health care. The level of inequality in America is obscene and a threat to our democracy. Now I'm passionate about helping people that are homeless. I'm passionate about making sure all children are fed, but all Americans do not deserve healthcare because only those who work that are adults, only those adults that work deserve to eat is what the Bible says. Yeah, it's not politically correct. It's biblically correct. Those who do not work should not eat. And so if, 
If you're not willing to go out and create a service for others, then you don't deserve the rewards of living in this world and benefiting from those services. So why should I, if let's say I'm working a job, I'm making just a little bit because I haven't applied myself. And then I go and buy the, the newest cell phone. And then I go buy some beer and I go buy some cable subscription and some Netflix. And then suddenly I don't have enough money for my medical. Why should I deserve it when other people have went out and earned it? I don't deserve it if I'm not willing to earn it. And so if I want to have stuff that is a luxury, then I need to go out and perform for those things. Healthcare is not a right. It is a benefit that is available for us to purchase because doctors, they, they do surgeries and stuff and they earn a high income. They deserve to be paid a high income because they went to school for a long time. Nurses, they put a lot of hours into their career, a lot of hours into school, and they deserve to be paid on that. And so you can go to a, a mechanic down the street that isn't really qualified, pay them a little bit of money to fix your car, or you can go to the best of the best mechanic and pay a lot more. And that's the same thought process. Those that serve deserve. And so if you want to earn more money, go out and serve. And if you're a politician like Bernie Sanders, then stop thinking that you can tax everybody, take everything from them, and it's going to create this, this, this type of world where everyone is treated fairly. The only thing that everyone deserves is love and respect, but they don't all deserve free college, free health care. And we're, we're seeing amazing things happen when we take away all the government regulation, when we take away all the monopolies, when we take away all the things that are wrong with, with democracy, with socialism, with democratic socialism. And so the answer is a free market. I picked up a book called Expose the Financial Matrix by Orrin Woodward. And it, it describes how we can have a free market that is truly free and it'll fix a lot of the injustices in this world. So I recommend you get that book. I'm going to put that link down here so you can get it from me. And the, the last thing I want to say is I love you guys. I believe in you. I'll see you at the top. So I'll see you real soon. See ya.